There are two kinds of Christians. Write it down if you can. The chicken and the eagle. No, and no, 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 no. The, the chicken is okay. A chicken, a chicken, a chicken is, is, is a good animal. <laughs> Amen. So don't, I want you to get me good now. But the chicken is reared to be eaten. I said they are good. You gotta, you gotta follow me now. Do not speak against chickens. They are good. They are humble. But they are chickens. They are reared to be eaten. So they are birthed. Hmm? And then they are housed. They are housed. They are put in a coop. But they are good. Somebody said they are good. Hmm. That's how chickens are. But there's another kind of, 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 of bird in the body of Christ called the eagle. Come on. You got to understand that. Amen. I said the chickens are reared to be eaten. So they are birth. That's not their birth. We don't allow them to fly over. The ones we allow to be loose over, those are not the ones who will be eaten. Those are like pets. Hmm. But the ones to be eaten, they are housed. They can't move, go nowhere. Mm. But they are still fed. The fact that you are being fed in a church is not enough. You got to know, am I being fed as a chicken or an eagle? The fact I'm giving you quality teaching. Ooh. The fact I'm teaching you how to become prosperous and how to be this and to be that, it's all good. Hmm? But you are being taught to be eaten. So I give you high quality food. Come on. In my country, we, we give you gore. We give us something called gore. <laughs> and you say, I'm growing in the Lord, but for what? Am I, am I making sense? I'm giving you good earth, good food, good teaching, raising you up. Where? In the coop, number one, so you are a captive. Then I feed you, you know. Ah, oh my God, my church, they, they teach so good. My God, they teach us all the details. Hmm, for what? To be eaten. So you want to know <laughs> for what category am I in the church I'm being fed I'm being kept but am I a chicken or an eagle hallelujah somebody praise the Lord the eagle is reared <laughs> to be released <laughs> oh my God of mercy. You don't put an eagle in a coop. He'll kill himself or rip that coop apart. Come on. Are you getting with me? Are you getting with me? See the kind of bishop you have? No coop stuff. You rip it. No, no, no bondage stuff. No enclosed stuff. You got to get permission to go witness downtown. And get permission, you know. You send in your request, can I go and preach and the board consider it and give you an answer. Two months time can go downtown. Come on. Are you with me, somebody? The eagle is reared to be released. But you don't fret because these eagles are releasing eagles that have their base. They have their connection. They have their nest. They don't have a coop. Come on, somebody. They have a nest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody say, launch into the deep or fly into the sky. Let me say it a different way. Somebody say, launch into the deep and fly 
into the sky. I spoke a word like this in Brooklyn some time ago, and they can help me out in the Holy Ghost. Amen. For some of you, you're going to find yourself launching into the deep. And some of the time, you're going to have to fly. Some of the time, you're going to have to take that ship to that other country. Hmm? Other time, you got to take that plane. Come on, somebody. And for you to launch into the deep and fly into the sky, you have got to be an eagle. Did you know that a chicken cannot swim? Those are not about chickens. They are good. Somebody said chickens are good. You're not coming with me, church. But they cannot swim. And I said, launch into uh, the deep and fly into the sky. Did you know chickens can't fly? No, they can. They only fly if you frighten them and they want to live. You know? they get into survival mode so even a chicken spiritual speaking in a church might do a little flying if they're in a spot they will fly a little and preach one time for the year I hope me somebody survival mode I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord I it. and that's the only reason why you witness you in trouble so you don't die Somebody say, leap into the deep and fly into the sky. The eagle is hmm, reared to be released, what is now, and refilled. <laughs> the eagle have to be released to be refilled because the eagle needs more than home food. Oh my God. The eagle is taught to make food. The eagle is one of the most dreadful birds. They rip an animal's six times their size. An eagle will take that animal out of the water and, and carry it 25 pounds there. And an eagle the size of a, of a raven huh, will take a 25 pound deer and take it across the forest and rip it apart. What if it is 85 pounds? Huh? Well, it will land on where that 85 pound is, kill it right there, cut the meat, and gone with it. Gone with the size it can carry. An eagle is reared to be released. So you can make up your mind which one you, you want to be. Come on. There is none that you are now. But I got to make up your mind which one you want to be. A chicken or an eagle. I said both are good. Come on, because there are thousands of churches across the world that raise the saints like a chicken. And many are going to heaven, but they are cooped. Come on, somebody. They are captive audience, and they are fed quality food. But for what? To be eaten. To be a benefit to others. But not to be released when you are released you will then be refilled but don't worry you'll be a benefit to others too because the eagle can carry other eagles on their back while they fly come on no chicken can't even fly themselves much as have something on their back there's some on their back they can hardly even walk come on there are time when a chicken if you tie a chicken too long huh and then lose a chicken they stay same place there but it's still good to eat. I said, don't misunderstand me right now. So the body of Christ right now, the Lord dealt with me, the body of Christ is at a crossroad right now to decide whether to be a chicken in the body of Christ or an eagle. And anyone will go to heaven, don't misunderstand me. Glory to God. But God wants us, hallelujah, to get ready. To leap into the deep and fly into the sky. Say amen, church. Say amen, church. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 11. Quickly, and then we're going to be over. Quickly, quickly, Deuteronomy. Mm, somebody say, leap into the deep and fly into the sky. Work at me, church, because if we can't finish good tonight, we're coming back tomorrow night. 
Because what's going on here? Come on, someone. One night can't do it. I never seen nothing like this in my life. The World Vision Day, and you don't understand. If I don't help them, they've gone only three quarters away. This old guy here, I have to help them with the videos and help them with the editing and help them. Come on, come on, someone. Oh, you're so far behind. Come on. And I've been doing nearly 24 7 since Saturday. No point on me, I'm telling you just like it is. Nearly no sleep. Come on. To keep up with the volume. Saturday all day they were here. Sunday they were here. Monday all day. Last night till 10 in the night. Never like that. So much not up yet. Videos from all over. And we cannot treat it any less. Because not everybody can do video. All right, Mr. Summer. Powerful preaching, powerful ministry, powerful, but well, they're not that skillful in videos. Are they not? But it has to be represented what's happening. This thing is a major. And I hear God say, launch out. Come on, into the deep. Huh. Come on, and fly into that. That's my job. That's my job. That's my job. Let, let, let me tell you my job a little more. Are you in the scripture? Read it me. Deuteronomy 32 verse 11. Let's read it. Come on. As the eagle stir it up. Did he say stir it? Uh, stir it up is nest. That's my job. Come on. My job is for you not to become a chicken. Even though a chicken is good. So a good eagle. Come on somebody. Stir it up. The nest. Make you uncomfortable with land. <laughs> Come on, I can't get nobody with me here, somebody. Come on, are you hearing me? Come on, my job is that you will not be comfortable. Amen, but you will say, no, I got to go. I got to go to another country. I got to go to another state. When I'm finished, amen, you will not uh, be comfortable. Hallelujah. But you'll be stirred. That's why the Bible says stir the gift. Did, did you see it in the Bible? Come on. What's wrong with you guys here? Come on, somebody. Don't tell me I'm not preaching good. Come on, somebody here. He says stir the gift. And the Bible said when you are stirred, it says your gift may room. If you stir the gift, money is nothing. Woo. Come on, somebody. Somebody went a hundred miles away today to get a visa to go to a certain country. And when they go through all day, go through everything. And even though they say no, they say we're gonna still try. And they press and press and press and press. At the end, they told them you don't need no visa. Come on, somebody here. Come on, your gift. Come on, somebody. Make room when you are stirred. God is causing your gift to be maximized, to be climaxed. Don't leave it down there. Most who went and preached on Saturday for the first time didn't realize they were so anointed. God of mercy here. One lady in Atlanta, she has been a minister for many years, but never been out. But she went out on Saturday. Ah, and when they were finished, she said, is it like this? From I've been a minister, all it teaches me to do is to give out cake. And, 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 and to give out things to the community. Never to preach like this. That the devil is a liar. They can't stop me no more. Come on, somebody. I am a street preacher. So the eagle, the eagle, the eagle. Come on. He's up the nest. You're gonna find money that you don't have when it finish with you. My, my God of mercy. This thing is big. Uh, it's, it's the Bible I'm reading now, so don't fight me now. Read on. He fluttered over his young. He mean he covers them. Come on. He covers them. He laying hand on them all the time. Come on, son. You never see a church in the world lay hand like this one. Come on, somebody. And you see the fruit of it. Come on, somebody. Laying hands. 
ministering, encouraging, rebuking the devil. Come on, somebody. He say, flutter it over. He stays over. Come on. Somebody says, stir it. Somebody says, flutter it. Read on. <laughs> Spread it abroad. Her wings. No, she's already a flyer. Come on. Come on. Spread it means she admonishes, guides, instructs, corrects. Come on, somebody here. Spread. Hallelujah. Her wings. Glory to God. Jesus. Admonish abroad her wings. Read on. Take them. Somebody stir it. Flutter it. Spread it. Then take it. Take it means that they are trained. They are trained, yes. It's like how you have been trained. And those who are watching across the world who stay abreast with the move, they are trained. Amen. Are you in the Bible? Someone said, leap into the deep and fly into the sky. Read on. Be erect them on her wings. It means she assists them. It's like how we assist you to go to some of the countries. Say amen. amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> if you're a chicken, then you wouldn't be so expensive. Come on. But you're an eagle. My God, you're expensive. Two thousand dollars to Japan. Come on, somebody. But an eagle don't care. Come on. Come on. The, the eagle, if you're a chicken, you wouldn't have to spend so much. You spend just enough to feed it, to eat you. Come on, come on, somebody here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So all this money is uh, by the eagle. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But because you, your job is to leap into the deep, say amen. And fly into the sky. Are you there? So he says, <laughs> he beareth them on her wings. So, so give me those, the, 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 the job of the eagle now. He what? Stir it. Number one, he what? Flutter it. Number two, he spread it. Number three, he take it. Number four, he bear it. You want to know why? You want to know why? Or the sermon, or you got enough sermon right now. Come on, let's read why. Verse 13. He made him to ride. You're not reading the Bible. You're not reading. You stop reading the Bible. Let's read it again. He made him. Come on. I want to hear you. To ride what? On what? On the high places. Come on, somebody. You've got to be stirred. My God, Jesus. And fluttered. Spread. Take and bear to ride on high places. High places mean the high mountains. It means the mountains of the world. It means the mega cities. It means the top cities. God gave us a word recently. Amen. God gave wisdom to scale the cities. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So your job is to leap into the deep. Help me out. Fly into the sky. To do what? <laughs> Come on. To ride on the high places. Isaiah 52 verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains. Come on somebody. Are the feet of those that bring good tidings. I thought everybody wanted to be an eagle tonight, but I'm having a little challenge here. Verse 13. You're not going to only ride on the high places of the earth. Read on. But he might what? Eat. Did you hear what I said? Eat. The increase of the field. So you have been taught to eat and not just been given to eat. Come on, somebody here. You are taught to make food. You are taught to earn food. 
come on somebody you're not just being taught to be eaten built up to be eaten but taught to refill yourself come on somebody the eagle is reared to be released to be what refilled hallelujah you can stand on your own hallelujah you can glean from the word you can travel to a city and still straighten yourself you don't come back weak while you're there you learn you are stronger when you have come back because he said in psalm 17 126 rather verse 5 and 6 when you go out weeping planting precious seed you shall no doubt come back come on somebody rejoicing come on somebody bringing in the sheaves because you are an eager you can make your food yourself you know wait on oh my god my your captor to open the coop and give you food three times a day hallelujah when you land on the mountain you can Food. You can all right. Let me just continue right here. Hey, hey, hey. So that he might eat the increase the increase. You hear what I said? Read on. And he made him to what? Suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Notice, amen. When the eagle is released is refilled by eating and drinking but this this drinking is not just drinking what's available that eagle can get down into that rock and suck what's not seen drinking and sucking is not the same when you suck it ain't seen but it can dry it out come on sir. you can go to any dry place and survive come on you can go in the midst of the desert and survive you can go i can't hear nobody with me but my god of mercy you can go in the midst of the forest and survive come on somebody the great falling away will come on the earth but you will survive you hear all kind of bad preaching but you can draw amen that which comes from God because you're an eagle stand up and say amen I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop my God hallelujah hallelujah somebody said launch in the deal sit down back it took too long to stand up come on somebody my God of mercy what kind of preacher is this? I'm saving, I'm saving you from tomorrow night. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, launch into the deep and fly into the sky. How do you launch in the deep and fly into the sky? Right? Number one, loose your feet. Loose your feet. Somebody begin to war right now and loose your feet. Loose your feet. Loose it. Loose it. Nobody stop you from taking the plane. That's what I mean. Nobody stop you from going to Tennessee. Come on. Nobody stop you from going to Oregon and Arizona. No, no devil stop. No matter what argument they're going to give me, my feet ain't going to be tied in New York. My feet going to move somewhere. Come on. God says in Acts 26, 16, God says, rise up and stand up on your feet. For I have made you a minister and a witness. He says in Acts, in, 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 <laughs> Lord Ezekiel 37 verse 10 he said stand up on your feet and become an exceeding great army loose your feet tell your neighbor and say loose your feet someone said loose your feet loose your feet someone said loose your feet how do you lose if you take the bus take the train take the plane say amen buy a ticket come on somebody it's not just talking about it i lose the feet of the body of christ in the name of jesus i lose i lose their feet no matter what's happening in your heart move your feet and let the Lord have his way when your feet get moving God will do the other part say amen somebody in the name of Jesus my feet they are loosed I can't hear you I can't hear you I don't have time to, to tell you the details of whose feet is tied because when your feet tied is over it's like being shackled in jail 
somebody say, lose your feet. Let me finish quick. Number two, certify your state wood. Leave the cost 1934. But the stranger shall be unto you as one born among you. And thou shalt love him for thyself, for ye were strangers in the land. When you are in a country that gives you opportunity to travel, get your stuff. Certify your statehood. Don't be hanging around and don't get your documents. Come on, somebody. Now I got into trouble. Someone said, launch into the deep. Some of you need to get married and get your stuff. Come on, I got into trouble right here, somebody. Stop hanging around, getting married. Come on, somebody. And certify yourself. Amen. So you can move. Someone said, loose your feet. Come on, certify your statehood. God already structured it that it make you be as if you are a citizen. Did you read it a while ago? Come on, the stranger is supposed to be treated as a citizen. Oh, we ain't gonna go into that. Somebody say, loose your feet. Somebody say, certify your statehood. Number three, upgrade your statehood. You are a green card holder, go for your citizenship. And don't be spiritual on me right now. Jumping and shouting. Amen. And you're, you're gone over five years. <laughs> Amen. And dragging your feet, procrastinating. I just can't get to it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Get to it. Come on, husband, don't get a wife. Get to it for him. Wife, will get to it for her husband. I, I know it don't sound spiritual, but I'm giving you the bomb right here. I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is major stuff. Because we're so spiritual here. But we're feet tied. And God said, loose your feet. And God said, certify your statehood. Then God said, upgrade your statehood. I gave you $1,000 and you're making me $20. That's an insult to me. I gave the opportunity to be here. And after the time passed, you can upgrade yourself. And you're still at the same place. Then praying for God. Come on, somebody. To give you a breakthrough. I'm ready to give you a breakthrough. Upgrade yourself. <laughs> Nobody can get in the spirit on this one. Come on, somebody here. Yeah. Upgrade yourself. Get your stuff. Get your ducats. Move up, move up, move up. Get a lawyer. Move up, move up, move up. Glory to God. I, what kind of church is this here? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Upgrade uh, and get this stuff to go anywhere you want. Come on, and stop being spiritual. Lose your feet. Come on, certify your state and upgrade your state. Your state will say amen. Come on, force a amen. Oh my God, a mercy. Some better than force. Give the Lord some praise here. Some of them leap into the deep and fly into the sky. Ah! Finally, make godly sacrifices. Stand up, everybody. Make godly sacrifices. Launch into the deep and fly into the sky. How? Loose your feet. Mm, certify your statehood upgrade your statehood and make godly sacrifice Isaiah 58 verse 8 God said it's not this the fast but I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness to undo heavy burdens to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke verse 9 is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry that thou bring the poor but I cast out to thy house when thou seest the naked that thou cover him hallelujah that thou hide not thyself from thy flesh then God said you what I'm going to do with you some of the I'm ready to be an eagle so I'm ready to be an eagle so I'm ready to be an eagle it's okay to be a chicken but I'm ready to be an eagle hear what God said in verse 10 he said then shall thy light ha <laughs> ha then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thy head shall spring forth speedily amen and thy righteousness shall go before you is that walking beside you and you're trying to live right you're gonna be easy to God of mercy here and the Lord shall be thy reward and the glory of the Lord 
shall be thy reward. Give God praise, somebody. Give God praise, somebody. Somebody's on launch into the deep and fly into the sky. Let the Lord hear you. Launch into the deep and fly into the sky. So in the name of Jesus, I will launch into the deep and fly into the sky. Hold a minute. I hear the Lord giving a special admonition to those good people who were once a part of us. And the Lord said that though you are on your way, good people, God says he has not released you from the responsibility of reaching the loss at any cost. Yes, God says you have to give an account. Hallelujah. For the investment that's been placed in you. You may be gone elsewhere. You may have started a church. Or you may be doing ministries. Or you may be a part of a church. God says that when I invested in you, it's for life. And even though you're gone elsewhere, whether positively or negatively, God says you have a charge upon you. God says if you don't carry that charge, you'll have to pay a price. God says you're not allowed to go back to traditions. God said the call is upon you. The gift is upon you. Some who have left us still carry the vision. Some once per year, but that's all right. Amen. They are trying. But don't think that because you're no longer a part, that you are free from the vision. This vision is not a harvest army vision. It's a world vision. It's a body of Christ vision. We have nothing against you. Make sure you carry the vision. It's a Bible vision. Not a harvest army vision. You may not do it like we do it. But make sure. Hallelujah. That you go and win the lost. At any cost. If we never see you again. Let the sinner see you. On the straight side. You don't need us. But the sinner need you. Every investment that has been made in every man, every woman, every girl, every boy who had the privilege to come under this vision, God says you must give an account. Hallelujah. For that investment and the training. If you need help, we are here to help you as well. Say amen, church. Say in the name of Jesus, I'll be an eagle for the Lord. Give him praise. Before, before I, I hand over in my hand here. Years ago God gave this ninth of a book. Amen. To demonstrate the end of time on the earth. When you see these signs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the season of the end is here. It's not the day. But nobody knows the day or the hour. But, but they are signs of the season. Hallelujah. God gave it in time. Then God gave the book on witnessing revolution. You may not preach so well. But you can give the tracks out. And tell them to receive Jesus. It's all in this book. Witnessing revolution. How to witness effect. The second book, then the third book, God, on every believer, a preacher. Yes, the stuff is here. The training is here. The information is here on how to preach the gospel of Jesus. Then we have another one called uh, 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 witnessing that is specially for the Jehovah's Witness. If you want wounded witnesses, if you have one near, you can bring it quick. If not, Heard of God, wounded witnesses that can help you to witness to the Jehovah's Witness and those who do not acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. And then we have, oh my God, have mercy. Then we have the pearls of prophecy, teaching the preacher, hallelujah, how to receive revelation and 
prophecy of the signs of his coming. So here, yeah, over 200 guidelines on how to prophesy correctly and accurately without one going wrong. Are you hearing me, somebody here? And the, the book is coming out. It's already in Zulan Press, the biggest publishers in the world. They already have it. It can land anytime. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Then we have, as I said, the wounded witnesses to reach the Jehovah's Witness. Then last but not least, the very thing that you're walking in and talking in and singing in and shouting in is written right here. World Vision Day. It's all here. No man, no woman, no child of God will have an excuse not to rise up. Hallelujah. For God says in Matthew 24, 14, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. Hallelujah. As a witness. And then shall the end come. Isaiah 66 and verse 8. He says, who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such a thing? Shall the act and, uh, be made to bring forth say amen in one day in one day one day one hour one voice one accord God has caused to come on the earth one day one 